Oh my god! <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? It's Raven. Today is October 8th, and by my calculations, you guys will be seeing this vlog on Halloween, on October 31st, I'm pretty sure. So happy Halloween. This is going to be a Halloween-themed raise week extravaganza. More than a raise week, it's gonna be raise couple of weeks, I'm pretty sure. I'm going to try and basically document all of my Halloween shenanigans from decorating my house, to making my own costume, to making Zaya's costume, to doing little cute Halloween crafts with Zaya and her friends, to also hosting a pretty big, hopefully pretty cool Halloween costume party that I wanna have at my house. So I thought I might as well just vlog the whole entire, almost the whole entire month of October and share with you guys all the fun Halloween -y things that I will be doing. So like I said, there's a few things going on this month as far as things that I need to plan and get ready for and I really need to get a move on with buying stuff and making stuff and getting stuff together, otherwise it's not gonna happen. First thing is the costumes. I know for me, I wanna be Halle Berry from the movie Baps, insert photos here. Me see from Baps with the iconic orange outfit, the iconic hairstyle, the gold accessories, everything like that, that is gonna be my costume and my best friend Daisha is going to be Mickey who is her counterpart in the movie her best friend in the movie so Daisha is gonna have like the yellow leopard print with the big hair and everything so me and Daisha are going as a duo Nisi and Mickey from Babs this costume is sort of cool and original in the sense that like you don't see everyone do it all the time but I definitely have seen several celebrities dress up as this costume over the past few years and so I've definitely been looking at them for inspiration but it's just I've always wanted to do this costume I think it would be really cute so Daisha and I have already decided that's what we're gonna be we've already started like shopping for stuff I haven't ordered anything I've just like found a few options I'm honestly getting kind of nervous because this is like hard to find most of the celebrities that have dressed up as this I'm pretty sure they got their costumes fully custom made just for that because you cannot find any of that stuff in stores so that's gonna be a little bit of a challenge and then for Zion Zaya, see normally, ever since Zaya has been born, I've pretty much done my own personal costume of just something that I wanna be by myself or like with my friends. And then I've also done a matching mommy-daughter costume with Zaya. First year, I was the Starbucks mermaid logo, like the siren. I dressed up as the mermaid and then I dressed up Zaya as a caramel frappuccino in certain photos here. Then after that, like we've done uh, milk and cookies. We've done, or we were both witches, mommy witch and little girl witch uh, was what we were last year. This year, Zaya said that she wants to be a mermaid. She didn't specifically say like the little mermaid, like Ariel, she just said a mermaid. So I feel like I could kind of take some creative freedom and kind of put together a really cool, like realistic type of mermaid costume. Cause like the little mermaid is cute or whatever and you can easily buy that costume, but it's like kind of basic, kind of boring. I mean, there are ways that you can like jazz it up but I always like to do a DIY so I think having us not necessarily be like Ariel but just be like mermaids in general might be cute and I can put together something really cute for her and I could also be a mermaid with her I guess but I also am like mm, should I let go of the mommy daughter thing this year she's five now she didn't ask me to be a mermaid with her she just said she wanted to be a mermaid I'm kind of thinking like maybe I won't do a mommy daughter costume with her or I was trying to think like what's something else that I could be that would go along with a mermaid but yeah so those are basically the costumes that I have to get together it's gonna be a combination of buying things and making things for both and then tomorrow actually I am hosting a pumpkin carving party for Zaya and her friends that'll actually be a whole separate video because I want to show you guys the whole breakdown for that and I don't want this vlog to be three hours long um, so be on the lookout by the time you see this video that video should already be up so if you want to know everything about the pumpkin carving party definitely Definitely watch that video and then like I said other than that I still need to put up decorations around my house just in general and then I need to plan my Halloween costume party so the Halloween costume party last year I threw an early 2000s 
themed Halloween costume party. This was an adults only party. And so everybody dressed up as something from the early 2000s, not 90s, early 2000s. So my friends and I, we went as kind of like Destiny's Child type vibes, not exactly trying to be Destiny's Child, but like a girl group inspired by Destiny's Child. And it was really cute. Um, and everybody came over dressed up and I had like all these like props, like with the early 2000s theme. I ordered stuff off of eBay to get like actual stuff from the early 2000s, blow up furniture. I got a bop it. I ordered all the snacks that we used to eat back then. I also got Soldier Boy to do the invitation. And I basically, I'm trying to not necessarily top that, but I wanna bring that same energy to my party this year. But the theme for this year is going to be like night at the movies, movie theater, red carpet, movie premiere, everything that has to do with movies. Because Daisha and I are dressing up as Baps, which is an iconic movie. And I thought that would be a really cute theme to have everybody dress up as something from a movie, which I think is good because that's pretty, like that gives you a pretty wide range to choose from um, because like almost anything is like from a movie. So that's gonna be the theme. And that gives me like a starting point as far as like decorations, snacks, and like just different things. So I'm thinking so far, just like brainstorming. I haven't gotten anything yet. I really need to hurry up because it's literally October 8th. I wanna have this party on October, 29th, I believe, or when's that Saturday? October 30th, the day before y'all are watching this probably is when I wanna have the party. So that only gives me one, two, three weeks to prep and plan and make sure I can have everything that I want. Just off the top of my head, a few things that I have in mind are, okay, with the movie theme, red carpet. Definitely wanna have like a red carpet, cause this is obviously people come in the front door. So have a red carpet rolled out here, leading into where the main party will be in the living room and kitchen and then a popcorn machine like an actual popcorn like standalone machine that would just be iconic for the movie theme and also like a slushy machine like so you know at the concession stand at the movies they have the popcorn machine they have the slushy machine like the ices like fountain drinks like for sodas so I want to have something cool like that set up for like slushies like alcoholic slushies maybe and like like a soda fountain like something like that set up here on the bar where it's like the movie movie theater concession stand and I can have all the candies, like the actual boxes of candy, cause you can order those like on Amazon. I could get like a whole set of boxes of movie theater candy and have that laid out. Like have the whole island be like a concession stand. I think that would be pretty cool. I mean, obviously only to a certain extent, like I'm not gonna freaking transform my whole kitchen. Like I have to, I have to have some self control with like how much I'm spending on this party and whatnot. Cause it's just the Halloween party, but that's kind of like my basic idea for that. Definitely red carpet, definitely concession stand. And then other than that, I'm just trying to think like, what can I do to the rest of the space to like really bring the theme together? Cause last time with the early 2000s theme, I had like CDs hanging from this arch right here. I had like decorations all over here. I had this whole table set up and I had the bar set up and I had the inflatable furniture in here. Um, and I had a photo booth. Oh, that was the other thing. So last time I had a photo booth set up here like the camera and stuff was set up over here the backdrop was set up here and so I think for the movie theme the photo booth would be like the paparazzi on the red carpet so you're coming in the red carpet here and then you have the paparazzi stop and take your picture on the red carpet like movie premiere type vibe because everyone's gonna be dressed up like a movie character so you know what I mean I think that would be really cute but I'm trying to figure out like as far as the paparazzi oh you know what maybe I could hire Rel to be the paparazzi. He's gonna be at the party anyway because Rel is one of my best friends, but he's also my photographer. So I could maybe hire him to like, just for the first like hour of the party to like stand right here as people come in and have his professional camera and be like taking pictures with flash, like of everyone on the red carpet movie premiere. What do they normally have? Like they have like the backdrop, right? I need to look up like some images of like movie premieres. Cause I know they normally have like the little, what's it called? Step and repeat a step and repeat like backdrop thing where it has like either like the movie logo printed on it or something and then the red carpet the velvet ropes I wonder if I can like rent the velvet ropes like divider things just like little stuff like that so it's like a mix between movie premiere red carpet but also movie theater you come in through the movie premiere but when you enter you like enter into the movie theater because isn't that what 
they do for movie premieres? Don't they actually go inside and watch the movie after the red carpet? I think. Anyway, that's like the basic idea, but I need to start, like I haven't found anything for it. So that's what I'm devoting time to today is to actually try to see like, what can I even rent? What can I buy? What can I get for this? Okay, so update on my BAPS costume. I did manage to find some latex, some bright orange latex leggings on Amazon. They're not exactly the right fit because they're a little too skinny to be exact, but this is the best I could find. I also found a two piece set that comes with orange latex legging and a matching orange halter top type situation. That could work. Really she's wearing a full bodysuit, like a one piece. That does not exist on the internet because why would it these days? But this is like a two piece set that kind of gives the bodysuit vibe. I did however find the exact shoes, like the exact, like this must be the brand she was wearing in the movie because they're exact. So that's good. I'm having a hard time finding a shiny metallic orange snake skin cropped jacket. <laughs> For some reason that's hard to find, but I'm looking on Poshmark now because Poshmark is basically an online thrift store and people be uploading all types of ridiculous vintage things. So I'm having a little more luck because first I looked on like Amazon, Shein, like Pretty Little Thing, but like all the like regular fast fashion stores, Fashion Nova, all that stuff. Cause I was like, maybe they'll have some bright orange stuff, but I couldn't find anything on any of the regular stores. So now I'm looking on Poshmark at like vintage stuff. Okay, vintage orange leather jacket like something like this could maybe work if i cut it and crop it myself it's not snake skin but i don't think i'm gonna be able to find anything snake skin okay wait poshmark kind of came through with some options so we have this which all of the long jackets i want to crop so here's the the photo for reference i have the photo pulled up on my phone for reference hers is a cropped super shiny if you look closely it's a snake skin print but it's a super bright orange to match the solid orange of her jumpsuit this is the right color and it's a little bit shiny but it doesn't have the snake skin and it's long but I could crop it myself. This one again not snake skin but it is shiny and it is orange I could crop it myself. This one is actually snake skin not quite the right color it's more like red. This one is a puffer jacket and hers is not a puffer jacket but it is shiny orange snake skin but it's also $160 because it's by Shane Justin it's like a designer piece. Then there's this one, which I think is like the right color cause it's brighter and it's shiny and it has, you know, it's more of the right like shape and stuff comparing back to hers. I kind of like this one. Y'all, what the heck? So I told you I was looking on Poshmark for like vintage items. Then I was thinking, oh, I should also look on Depop because Depop is also kind of the same thing as Poshmark. I get on Depop, I type in orange latex to see if I can find like a jacket or whatever. Tell me why a custom made BAPS costume that somebody like made for themselves for Halloween 2019 and I think I can fit it. If anything, it might be a little big on me, but I think I would be able to like take it in on the sides. <gasps> Bro! The perfect exact jumpsuit, look! It even has the clear part on the top, which a lot of people don't get that detail. Oh my God, this is perfect. So the sizing 30 inch waist, see that's like a little big, but like on the model, yeah, I think it might be a little bit big on me, but I think I could just like take it in on the sides to make it fit. It's $70. Free shipping, worn once in 2019. I have to get this. I mean, come on. It's kind of cheating, but like, I have to get this. I gotta get it, I gotta get it. How could I not get this? Okay, I've been searching again, and I think for the belt, hers is like, it looks like it's metal, and it's got like a bunch of square pieces connected together to make the thick belt. I haven't been able to find anything exactly like that, but I did just find like a metallic gold thick waist belt like this, which as far as like the color and the the thickness, it kind of gives the same. I wish I could find something a little bit closer, but this is all I've been able to find so far for the belt. And then for her earrings, it's like a big pearl stud with a giant gold heart hanging off of it. And they're like really big. So I've just been looking for gold heart dangle earrings and I haven't found anything that's like big enough or like, you know, they have like the bamboo hearts like this, but that's like not really what she's wearing. It's more like a shape like this. 
this, but it's a pearl and then it's gold. And so I haven't been able to find that exact thing until I went on eBay and I found these. And I can actually take off this extra pearl that'll be easy to remove. So as far as like the type of earring, it's like pretty spot on. I just feel like these are a lot smaller. They didn't say what size they are. Like they didn't list out the measurements, but I could just tell from the little packaging that they're on that these are probably like normal size studs. And so like the earring itself is probably only like this big instead of being like this big, like it needs to be. Like it's probably only half the size of hers. But I mean, for $1.99, might as well buy them and see if they work. And then I'm gonna look for like a backup pair. I found these, which, Actually, these are kind of small too. Yeah, I just haven't been able to find like huge hearts. Okay, so I have spent, it's October 10th, by the way. I have spent the last few hours looking at stuff for my movie themed Halloween costume party. So just to kind of show y'all, first thing I did was go on Pinterest. Don't mind how crazy I look. And to be honest, I didn't really find much. This is what I saved to my board so far. The red carpet, the velvet ropes, paparazzi cardboard cutouts, popcorn themed decor, popcorn themed balloons the concession stand themed snacks and just the way that that's set up and a couple little decor elements. But a lot of the stuff was like very childish and tacky that I did find. So I didn't really find, you know, a lot of stuff on Pinterest, but from there I went on Amazon and I did find like a couple of little things that I could order, such as like these popcorn um, cups to serve popcorn in to really make it like movie theater popcorn, um, a movie night decor pack, which this is the stuff I was talking about that's like kind of childish, but like I can make some of this stuff work, I think. Then I went to a party, like a local party rental website and I found this popcorn machine, which I think is perfect because it's exactly like what they have at the movie theater. You can rent it for $65 a day. Then I also found this like slushy margarita machine, which you can rent. I even found a pretzel warmer, which is something they have at movie theaters, which you can also rent. And then they also had a red carpet because I saw some little cheapo red carpets that I could buy on Amazon, but they were like really small. So this one's actually like a real red carpet that you can rent. And then they also have the actual velvet ropes and it says that they come in red too. So this will be a lot better than any like little cheapo like stuff you can buy on Amazon or whatever. And it'll just be like the real thing. So then for a movie premiere, it's got obviously the red carpet, but it has the step and repeat little background. So it's usually like a repeated, like either the movie logo or the sponsor logo. It'll be like a black background with the logo repeated usually. I mean, they do different things for different movies. They'll have it like be on theme or whatever. But I think having a red carpet with a black background with a repeated logo would really give it that movie premiere look. So I found this website where you can, it's called Banner Buzz. You can create your own eight foot by eight foot custom step and repeat banner thing. It's $118, which, you know, it's a bit much, but like I was trying to think of a way that I could like DIY it for cheap. And like I could buy a big roll of backdrop paper, some fabric even, and figure out a way to like put my logo on there, whether it be like painting it on or using some type of stencil or even like at the Cricut, you could cut something out, but it just would be a lot for the size. Like it needs to be full size. Like I can't just make a little mini one. Otherwise you can't stand in front of it and get the full body effect for the pictures. So for it to be eight feet by eight feet trying to DIY it. Is it possible? Yes. But by the end of, you know, what I spend on the supplies and how much time I spend making it, it's like, I might as well just pay a hundred dollars for a pre-made one and actually have it be like legit. You know what I mean? So I'm thinking about actually ordering this and getting a custom step and repeat. And since the movie theme is not for a certain movie, I think the logo that I should put on it is just my logo because it's my party, you know what I mean? So I have a bunch of logos that I had made whenever I did like my whole rebrand. So I took those and I went on Photoshop. This is what I've been sitting here doing for the past several hours. <laughs> took my logos, recolorized them, went on Photoshop and made this. It's got two of my different logos and then my little like signature dash marks, which I think is cute. I think it's giving the effect of what I found on Google, you know, as far as like these 
repeated images or whatever. So I made this and then you just upload this to the banner website and you can order a custom step and repeat. I'm not totally sold on buying it yet just because it is over a hundred dollars and I'm like, when am I ever gonna use this again? Like, I mean, it's, it'll be reusable. So if I ever have any other like reason to use it, I can keep it and use it again. But like, I don't know. But I do think it would be a really cool touch because I really want like people to walk to the party and be like, whoa, you know what I mean? Like this isn't just a kickback. This isn't just, oh, I have a few drinks and snacks laid out. Like I want this to be cool. So. <laughs> as far as anything else that goes with the movie theme, of course it would be cool to have like a movie screen, like a projector, but I just don't really have a good place to put it unless I put it in my backyard. But I know from previous parties that I've had, nobody really likes to go outside because it's either it's too cold or it's too hot <laughs> to go outside and you're letting the bugs in and stuff. So I feel like if I went to that extent of like also setting up something in my backyard, actually I can't even do that anyway because they're gonna be doing construction on my pool. So yeah, scratch that. I couldn't even if I wanted to, but that would be a cute idea. Something for y'all to think about if you ever want to do this theme. Yeah, so I don't think I'm going to do that, but just like the red carpet movie premiere entrance and then the movie theater concession stand setup. Those are going to be like the two main things. Yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. All right, y'all. <laughs> just ripped my wig off. I was sitting at my desk doing work. Wig was itching, wig was lifting, wig was bothering me, wig came off. We are wigless and the show must go on. So don't mind that. But my Amazon package just came. This is the backup BAPS costume. So this is the little set that I got from Amazon before I found the actual custom costume on Depop. That's still on the way. I'm still hoping that that's going to be able to work, but just in case it doesn't because it might not be like my size and I might not be able to make it my size, I still got this as a backup. So, so far so good as far as the color and the fabric. It's not as shiny as her outfit in the movie. Her outfit's like really shiny, really plasticky. I mean, this is plasticky, listen. But it could be a little bit shinier, but it's definitely bright orange. I like these pants because they're high waisted and they did have a zipper going up the front, which her jumpsuit had a zipper in the front. But then the thing about it is the top is pretty different from her actual top in the movie. Kinda. I wanna try this on and see if it's even like remotely my size, just so I know if this is like a viable backup or not for the costume. Okay, so <laughs> it fits. I would probably take it in in the back because there is a little bit of a gap back here and I could pretty easily just put two yards back there and take it in, but overall, it does fit. The top came with this little string to like lace it up in the front. And that's not how her top is at all. She's wearing a jumpsuit, one piece. And so it would just be the zipper going all the way up. But it kind of is this general shape and this general idea. So I could do that and kind of still get the same effect. It's not exact, but it's like pretty close. The color is good. The shiny plasticky texture is good. And overall it fits. So good to know that I have this as an option, but I'm still holding out for the actual custom costume that I got off of Depop. And then I also have the wig on the way. I have the gold belt. I have the shoes, the clear stripper heels are on the way. Everything else is on the way. So wish me luck pulling this together. Okay, it's a new day. Still working on getting everything booked and planned for everything Halloween related. I really need to get a move on on starting on Zyza's costume because I've got stuff coming in for my costume. I've got things being booked for my Halloween party, but Zaya's costume has not been started. So that definitely needs to take priority. But so, okay, I'm kind of excited because last year for my Halloween party, it was early 2000s themed. So I got Soldier Boy to do a video for the invitation. So I sent it out to everybody and it was Soldier Boy being like, well, I'll just put it here because I still have the video. So this was the invitation. What a do, man, it's your boy Soldier Boy. You invited the Ravens throwback kickback. Get ready to crank that and get crunk. Let's get it. Uh, 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 Soldier boy, I'm in it. Uh, why me crank it? Why me roll? 
Yeah, so that was the invitation last year. I thought it was pretty iconic because Soulja Boy is an iconic early 2000s celebrity. And I just thought it was super funny. All of my friends thought it was funny. So this year I want to continue the tradition of having some sort of celebrity do the digital invitation. So with it being movie premiere, movie theater, Hollywood, red carpet, movie character themed, obviously I should get like an actor or an actress. Now I'm dressing up as Nisi from BAPS, played by Halle Berry. And I really, really wanted Halle Berry to do the invite. However, she is not available on Cameo and I can't figure out any sort of way to like get in touch with her and get her to do that. I think she's way too much of an A-list celebrity, no offense to Soulja Boy, but I think she's too much of an A-list actress to be having time to be doing little videos like this. So I wasn't able to get Halle Berry, which was really disappointing because that just would have been iconic because that's who I'm dressing up as and it's my party. Ugh. But I did find, <laughs> I did find someone else who was able able to do it and able to do it quickly because now it's October 12th. The party is in like, what, less than three, two weeks now? It's it's not long until the party and especially with people like coming from out of town, I wanna make sure that I send out the official invite sooner rather than later to give people time to like RSVP or whatever. So I just needed to hurry up and get it done. So I did find Kel from Keenan and Kel, also um, known as Ed from Good Burger. I do have two people coming to the party who are dressing up as Keenan and Kel from Good Burger. So that's kind of where that idea came from. So I have Kel doing the video for the invite. I just booked it. He said he could get it done within 24 hours. So hopefully by tomorrow, he'll send me the video and hopefully it's good. I asked him to do it in the voice of Ed from Good Burger. Be like, hey dudes. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> So hopefully it turns out cute and I'm gonna edit it and do like I did with last year's invite and then I will text that to everyone as the official invite. I'm also about to go ahead and reserve all of the rentals. So I'm renting red carpet, velvet ropes, popcorn machine, slushy machine, maybe the pretzel machine, not sure. And I think those are the five rentals. And then I have a couple of things that I just need to buy from Amazon and I wanna go ahead and just get that done now. All right, another day, another clip of me in my office looking absolutely ridiculous. I'm sorry that half this vlog is just me in my office explaining things, but that's, this is where all the magic happens, okay? I just got back the cameo that I ordered from Kel for the invite to the Halloween party, and it's so, <laughs> it's so perfectly cringy. <laughs> my friends are gonna laugh. It's, look, let me just show you. Hey dudes, you're invited to Raven's Hollywood Halloween party. Come dressed as any movie character or a Hollywood star and be ready to walk the red carpet. <laughs> Grab your popcorn and candy because this party is about to be a movie. <laughs> yeah, Raven, Raven. <laughs> <laughs> cringy but I first watched it I was like oh my god but the goal is to make my friends laugh and I think that that will make them cringe and laugh so I'm going to take this video and bring it into Final Cut and edit it into an invitation like I did with the Soulja Boy one and just put some little graphics and text and then put all the like time and address and info on there and hopefully be able to send this out today because it's October 13th and the party is on the 30th and you know I want to give people a chance to you know make their plans to come or whatever and other news, I was trying to reserve all of my rentals for like the popcorn machine, the pretzels, the red carpet. And on the website, it let me put everything in my cart. It let me like check out or whatever, but then they emailed me and they were like, oh, just kidding. We don't have the margarita machine or the velvet ropes or the this or the that. And I'm like, then why was it available on your site? So now I'm in the process of having to track down some of those rentals. And I'm really hoping that I can still get it because those are like the main pieces to the party that I really wanted and now we're kind of cutting it really close because we're only like two and a half weeks away from the party. So wish me luck that I can get these rentals that I want. I'm trying to still think about like other additional decorations and little things that I can add to the party to just make it cute. And I still haven't started on Zaya's costume, so. Okay, so I just spent the last hour making this invitation slide to go with a video that Kel made. This is on Canva and I'm pretty proud of it. Obviously Canva, you know, it makes it easy to do graphic design. It's not like doing real graphic design from scratch, but I did put together all these elements myself. You know, the background, choosing the fonts, choosing the colors, layering different shapes and text and stuff, layering all this stuff. Like this is not a template. I made this myself and I think it turned out really 
cute. Like, okay, graphic design. And then this is a little movie theater backdrop that I dropped the video onto. It's like, like his video is playing in the theater. Hey dudes, you're invited to Raven's Hollywood Halloween party. So this will be like the first part of this, the invitation. I think I'm gonna have maybe some text slide in through here. This will be like the second slide with the actual information on it. How cute. Okay, I just finished making the invitation. I'll insert it here so you can see it in all its glory. Hey dudes, you're invited to Raven's Hollywood Halloween party. Come dressed as any movie character or a Hollywood star and be ready to walk the red carpet. <laughs> Grab your popcorn and candy because this party is about to be a movie. Oh, yeah, Raven, Raven. Whoa. <laughs> so that's what I'm gonna be sending out to all of my friends via text and they can respond back and let me know if they're gonna be able to make it or not. I'm gonna send that out like right now. Also, Margarita Machine has been secured. That was one of the things that I wasn't sure if I was gonna be able to get because it was like, we don't have it, blah, blah, blah. Found a Margarita Machine, found Velvet Ropes, I think. And I think Red Carpet Popcorn Machine Pretzel Machine. I think we're good on the rentals. Don't want to jinx it, but I think we're good on all the rentals that I wanted. So I'm feeling better about the Halloween party in general. I feel like I've got things rolling, got things taken care of. Um, still more stuff to work on when it comes to the party, of course, more stuff to buy. But in the meantime, I feel like I'm in a good place with that so I can start working on making Zaya's costume. Okay, y'all, so it is 5.30 on October 14th. I have been running around the town getting all types of things. So I want to do a little bit of a haul of everything that I've gotten so far. Um, first thing was a package that came in from Amazon with some of the rest of the pieces to my Halloween costume. So these are the shoes. I was really excited about these shoes because these are literally like the exact shoes, like down to every detail about them. They're really exact to what she wore in the movie. Um, this is the belt that I ended up getting. It's not exact, but I think it will do the trick and kind of give off the same vibe. This is the wig, which I have not even really really looked at yet or tried on or anything. This is gonna be the base of the wig that I have to build on top of because as you can see, the hairstyle is quite extreme. I'll put a picture here, but let's just, oh my God. Oh, this will be the base. Oh my God. <laughs> Take it off. Zaya says take it off, she hates it. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna be building on top of this pixie wig, I guess, for the hair look. And then I saw a hack where you use fake nails and denture glue to create gold teeth because they do make little fake gold teeth, but everyone says that they don't work, they don't stay on, they don't like they don't stick to your teeth very well. So supposedly it works better if you do this little DIY by using fake nails and like I don't know, we're gonna try it. Daisha also needs gold teeth for her costume too, so we're both gonna try that. So I ordered those, so that came in from Amazon. Then I went to Joanne's Fabric Store for Zaya's costume mainly, and I ended up getting a bunch of stuff. This is all kind of a surprise to her because she was not with me. She was at school all day while I was shopping. So I'm gonna be making her mermaid costume, and you said you wanted to do what kind of mermaid? A Barbie mermaid. Last year, that was last year, right, that we dressed up kind of like Barbie dolls, but basically I interpreted Barbie mermaid as pink and sparkly. So I went to Joann's and picked out all kinds of pink sparkly fabrics, mermaid-esque, Barbie mermaid-esque fabrics. So this is gonna be the main fabric for the tail. What do we think? Get your dirty feet off the counter. This is kind of giving, definitely giving Barbie Mermaid vibes with this fabric. Then I also got these two sparkly like tulle fabrics. And I got this one, which is very Barbie-licious. And then I got this one, which is very mermaidy because of the sequins. And it's got like the shifting sequins. So I thought that was very mermaidy. And I don't really exactly know what I'm doing with all these different fabrics. I have a general idea in my mind. I'm not following a certain tutorial or a certain pattern or anything, I'm just making it up. So I'll work on that later. I'm also planning to incorporate seashells and I went and picked out a bunch of beads and gems and just sparkly rhinestones, pearls. I actually had a lot of stuff on sale at Joann's. So I just got stuff that went with the color scheme and went with the mermaid theme. Anything that looked like it would be an under the sea finding, you know, stuff that mermaids would wear. 
walk with that posture. Make sure you can walk. I'm gonna make sure you can walk in it. I'm not gonna really have your feet inside of a tail. So I got pearls, but everything is kind of with the pink theme. And now I just need to like figure out what the heck I'm really gonna do to pull it together, but I think I can do it. I also got these little starfish. I think would be cute to incorporate into the costume somehow. I wanna do like a elaborate crown that's like got seashells and starfish and gemstones and pearls and then also like a necklace, maybe embellish the top of the costume. We're gonna make it very fancy, sparkly, Barbie, glam mermaid. Cause those store-bought mermaid costumes, they wasn't cutting it. So we're gonna DIY. So that's what I got for Zaya. Then I also went to Party City mainly for the movie themed costume party. So they did have a few movie themed decorations. They had a small little section, I'll insert a picture here. They had a small little section that was like movie Hollywood themed, but it was kind of like blurring the lines. Like right next to it was like the Great Gatsby Roaring Twenties theme. And some of the stuff was looking more like Great Gatsby more than movie theater. And I'm not doing like Great Gatsby. So there wasn't that much stuff to choose from. I did get this little clapboard. It's just a little prop. I thought it would be cute for people to like take pictures with it or make boomerangs or whatever, or just have set out somewhere. They have this tape. One of it says like no paparazzi, VIP entered celebrity zone. So I was probably gonna like take my front door with this, kind of cheesy, but it goes with the theme. Then they have these Hollywood stars. So I was gonna like put these over the floor, like make a little pathway in the floor in here and let people sign their name. But that would be a cute little theme. They had movie themed napkins. And then the real thing that I stocked up on from Party City are two big bags full of movie theater candy. So they had the full selection of all the different boxes of candy. Like, cause you know when you go to movie theater, it comes in a box like this. So I got, they're five, five for $5, basically a dollar each. They also had them at Dollar Tree for a dollar each. They also had them, I've seen them at Target for a dollar each. Pretty much every store, they're a dollar each. So I just got them from Party City. Sometimes Party City be taxing on stuff and it's not the best place to get the best price. But for these, it actually like was. So I got five of each. Kind. So I literally got every single one. I was like filling up my basket. And so I have all this candy that I'm gonna lay out as part of the concession stand at the party. And then when I was at Party City, I was just looking at the costume stuff and this caught my eye. It is a pirate eye patch because I was trying to still think of something that I could dress up as to go with Zaya's mermaid costume because usually we do a mommy daughter look. She told me she didn't really want me to be a mermaid with her because I don't think she wants me to steal her mermaid shine, which is fine. Maybe she's getting a little too old for mommy to be coordinated with her, but I'm not ready to let that tradition go. So I have made the executive decision that I'm not gonna be a matching mermaid with her, but I am gonna be a pirate. Pirates, cause pirates and mermaids go together, right? But it's like coordinating, but not whatever. And it's like an easy costume that I can do. So I'm not having to do like a whole nother DIY costume. So eye patch, red scarf around, that's why I got this piece of red fabric from Joanne's. Red scarf around the head, red scarf around the waist, off the shoulder white top, some sort of black pants, some sort of black boots. I feel like I can put together the majority of the costume with what I already have. And then like just a few little small like DIY accessories. So yeah, that's gonna be, this is what I'm gonna wear when I take her trick-or-treating. Cause I always like to be like dressed up. Cause I wanna be part of the actual Halloween festival. Like I have my Babs costume, that's for the party the day before Halloween. But on actual Halloween, we are gonna be a pirate and a mermaid. So that's everything that I've got so far. Stay tuned for the actual DIY process. And you know, I got, a, I got my Babs costume, I got Zaya's mermaid costume, and I got the pirate costume to finish putting together. And then I got to finish putting the party together. So it's still a lot coming. Okay y'all, so I've been busy and distracted with other things. I went out of town this weekend, but today is the day that I need to really hone in on getting these Halloween costumes done. I essentially have three costumes to put together or make or DIY, whatever you want to call it. I got some stuff in the mail. This should be the rest of the stuff that I need for my Babs costume. The Babs costume is, it's not too much to it because I don't have to like sew the whole outfit from scratch. This is the custom outfit that I ordered from Depop. It was $70, but I was like, hey, it's just too perfect. This costume does not exist anywhere else on the internet. You can't just like buy it from Party City or anything like that. So finding this custom made outfit was a real,
real really lucky thing it's just not oh no it's so short this is not gonna fit me i might be able to make it work i might it's already looking like it's not gonna fit me just because it's like short like the torso is too short let me just try it on and see if there's anything i can do with this if not i do have still the other thing that i already showed you guys the outfit that i got from amazon which obviously isn't exact but at least i know that that one fits me let me try this on i also got the this should be the jacket that i ordered from ebay kind of seemed like it would work if this custom jumpsuit from depop doesn't fit me at all i hope they take returns because 70 dollars just to not be able to use it at all that would suck i found a faux leather like snake skin orange jacket which is like it is pretty similar like style of jacket too this is a vintage lei jacket pretty spot on to like what she had in the movie she said oh look wow a mermaid sticker and that's what zaya is going to be for halloween Okay, so this is the jacket. I think the jacket's pretty good. It's got the same type of collar and stuff. Okay, I'm gonna try this stuff on and see if there's anything I can do. Oh, you guys, I'm so disappointed. It's so short, like the torso is so, like this is where the top, like where it's supposed to be right here on me is literally right here. Like the top of the zipper is supposed to be up here on my neck and it only comes up this far. Like the person who wore this must have only been four feet tall. There's no way to put this on or even I thought about like okay what if I take the clear straps off and make my own clear straps that are longer but like this doesn't even reach <sighs> And also the way it's sewn together down here is not very flattering in, the, in this region. Oh, man, they had the completely wrong measurements listed because I measured myself and I was like, oh, it's gonna be too big on me. I'm gonna have to take it in. No, they had the completely wrong measurements because there's no way. Basically, there's not enough fabric here for me to even make it fit. Cause you can always take away fabric and make something smaller, but you can't make something bigger. So I'm gonna have to see if I can return this because that's a waste of $70. Dang it. Okay, so we're back to the Amazon outfit. Let me try this jacket on. Also, don't mind. look at my closet. Clearly, there's been a lot going on over the past week. Okay, so here's the Amazon outfit. It fits. I mean, the pants are a little loose. I can easily tighten them up in the back. Amazon belt, Amazon stripper heels, vintage jacket. So the jacket, her jacket is like cropped, like more cropped than this. So I'm thinking about cutting this jacket to crop it to make it more exact. But at the same time, like this is not bad how it is i don't know if it's worth trying to cut it because there's like a pocket right here so it would like mess up the pocket i don't know i still have to decide if i want to crop the jacket or not also the top of this outfit just isn't i still have my little bra underneath it and i won't wear it like that but this top is supposed to lace up her top's not like that so i was thinking about just like not using the lace i just have it pinned together instead so of course it's not as exact as the actual thing but it's giving the overall vibe of her look, I think. Bougie, what in the heck are you doing? <laughs> I think it's it's starting to give the overall vibe. It's getting close with the hair and the jewelry and the nails and the makeup. I feel like you're definitely gonna know who I'm supposed to be. It's just not gonna be super exact. <sighs> Man, I was really excited about this thing. But I think we're gonna have to just go with this stuff and just kind of customize it and make it work. So I guess this is gonna be my outfit. The main thing that I really have to do is the big hair piece because that's like the main thing that tells you who I'm supposed to be and that's gonna be interesting to try to figure out how to create that hair piece but I guess this will work so as far as this outfit goes as far as like sewing and DIYing I put it on inside out because it just didn't really fit me perfectly so I'm just doing some minor alterations I put it on inside out so that I could pin it uh, this is kind of hard to do on yourself but I'm an independent woman I'm just tightening it on the sides and then I'm gonna like connect it here so that the top fits how I want it to fit because I'm not gonna be using this string that came with it and then for the pants they're just like gapping at the waist so to make it fit better with the belt i'm just gonna take it in in the back so i just need to do like some little half inch darts in the back and that'll be all i have to sew for this outfit i think i'm gonna leave the jacket as is because I feel like if I try to cut it to crop it, it's just going to like look raggedy. So yeah, like I said, the main thing for this costume is making the hair piece. But for Zaya's mermaid costume, I'm making the whole thing from scratch, like sewing the whole outfit from scratch. So that's what I really need to like prioritize and get started on. What I could also try to do for this top to try to 
make it like even more exact to the costume because in the movie she has this clear part on the top of the jumpsuit like they pretty much got it pretty exact on this jumpsuit i could like try to either use the clear stuff off of here or buy some and like cut the top part off of this and add the clear part to it like kind of stitch it together. Not many people have gotten this detail of the costume. That's why I was excited about this. But when you have the jacket on, you really can't see it. So I don't know if it's worth it to even do it. Anyways, I'm just over Virgoing it. Okay, so I'm gonna do the quick alterations on my outfit and then I need to get started on Zaya's mermaid costume. So I saved a bunch of pins on Pinterest. I definitely wanna make some sort of headpiece with seashells and pearls and gems and stuff like that, like a headband or a crown so I have some ideas for that and then for the actual outfit I'm definitely thinking the skirt type of vibe with the fins at the bottom thinking about whether or not I just want to do like the little fluffy like this style here or something more like this or let's see like this is cute this looks like it has some sort of like wire or something in it to give it some shape on the fins and I feel like I could also do something like that Here's some examples where they did pants instead of a skirt, which would be a little bit more comfortable and easier for Zaya to walk in, but it just doesn't look as mermaidy, I don't think, but it is also still cute. I think if I do the skirt and just make sure not to make the skirt too long, it should be okay, like more like this. And then for the top of it, of course, a lot of times with mermaids, you see them with just like the little seashell bra, but that's like too revealing for Zaya's age, obviously, and it's gonna be pretty cold for Halloween, so I don't want her to just be wearing like a little bra top. I wanna give it more of a, a long sleeve would actually be really cute like this. I do like this because they kind of made it look like there was skin in the middle. So it looks like a bra top, but it's still fully covered and then a cute little thing on the shoulders. This one is really cute. We're kind of going for more of this vibe as far as it being like super detailed, super glam, not basic, lots of sparkle and different like elements to it. This is kind of the overall vibe that I'm going for, but it's gonna be more of a pink color scheme. So here's everything I bought. I may end up getting some more materials and more supplies just depending on how it goes, but this is the starting point. And you can see like the color palette and everything, all the little embellishments and stuff that I showed y'all. I definitely think I'm gonna like embellish the actual outfit with some of this stuff too, and make like some jewelry and then also make the headpiece. So again, I might have to buy some more stuff for that. I think I'm actually gonna start by like sketching something out. Um, my iPad, I have, uh, look at me, I'm such a fashion designer. We're gonna land on materials and sketch out our design. It's been so long since I've designed and like fully made something from scratch. Like for those of y'all who don't know, I have a whole fashion design degree. I went to college, four year university and got a bachelor's degree in fashion design. And you guys don't really ever see me use those skills very much. But if I can remember those skills, let's Let's see. So I have Procreate on my iPad and I do have an Apple Pencil. So this is a really good app to use to just like sketch stuff out. So let's see. I'm thinking like using these two fabrics for the fins cause they're more flowy and using this fabric for the main portion of the skirt. So here are my two designs so far. I'm I think this one uh, will work better just because like, I don't know, doing a long sleeve sheer top with the bra built in, I still feel like that's like a little too like sexy, <laughs> but just doing like a fully covered tank top to it, I think might work. And so it'll be like a dress, like a one piece dress with like a little embellished belt on top, jewelry, something cute on the shoulder straps of the tank top and then like the crown to go with it. All right y'all, so I had to wait for Zaya to be done with school so I could measure her for this. Don't mind the mess on the floor. She's been really into making paper dolls recently. So there's paper shreds everywhere. You have a little 20 inch waist or yeah, low waist. And then for the skirt, we're gonna do a high waisted. So from about here down to the bottom of your knee is like 18. So we're gonna do 18 inch skirt length like this. And then from here to here, it's about like 11 inches, 11, 12 inches that the bottom of the skirt can be. 
And then I need to see for the top. I'm gonna kind of trace this tank top as the general size. Eight inches long. I think that's all I need for now. Okay, you're free to go, ma'am. Can we just keep this on? Yeah, you can keep that on. Okay, so I took Zaya's measurements and I'm making a really simple paper pattern. This is folded in half so that'll be perfectly symmetrical. This is for the main skirt piece. I'm about to cut this out and then cut it out of the fabric. I actually tried to do it just freehand at first and it did not work out very well. So good thing I bought extra fabric because hopefully round two will be better. Okay, so far this is what I've got done. Be still so we can see. Lift up your shirt a little bit. Just the main little pencil skirt part of the skirt. It's a very simple front and back and I added, just added a really simple elastic waistband on the inside. I did it the fastest, easiest way so it's not like super <laughs> professional but it works. And now I'm just still trying to figure out what I want to do for the bottom part of the fins. If you can't tell by now, this is definitely not a tutorial because I'm literally making this up as I go along. And I'm trying a few different things to see what looks best. So <laughs> I don't know, hopefully if there is anybody out there who wants to recreate this costume by the end of it, hopefully you get enough information from what I'm sharing. Right now I'm gathering up some of this to make more of like a poofy little, like this This looks like a mermaid fin to me because it's already like pre-crinkled. It has like that texture to it and it's glittery. And the bottom edge of it kind of already had this little wavy crinkle to it. So like I want this to like, I don't know. Okay, it is the next day. I am, I think, three days into this project and this is all I've really done so far just because I keep like doing and redoing stuff since I'm making this up as I'm going along. But I'm making some progress with the skirt. It might look a little silly right now, but the main portion of the skirt is done and for the fins, I used this pink fabric and then I created like this little underskirt, almost like a little mini petticoat moment by gathering up some other more stiff tool and putting that in the corners so that it would poke out the sides right here. So I don't know if y'all can tell, but the little underskirt is like poking out the sides of the fins to give it that more like rounded shape right here and help it like be more of a mermaid fin shape towards the bottom, if that makes sense. I think I'm still gonna add more like layers of fabric to the fin but I'm just trying to get like the general shape down first and I'm gonna embellish this so I want to do something for scales I'm not sure what yet if I'm gonna do like glitter glue to create that scale shape or like beads or rhinestones or just like draw it on or paint it on I want to do some sort of like belt like an embellished belt glued on and then also like just embellishments going down like just make it all very blingy and sparkly but this is what I got so far so for the embellishments I got this bag of seashells there was only like a few like actual cool seashells in the bag and then like most of them were kind of broken and then mostly what was in there were just these little plain white shells which I can still use but I would like to use both of these are broken which is annoying but it would be cool to use this as like the main like belt buckle type moment and then like put smaller shells around it and then put gems with it I have pearls like something like that for the top of the skirt but but then since it's supposed to be like all brightly colored and barbie-licious, I'm like, should I just paint the shells to make it like more on the color scheme? You know, like these blue ones are kind of on the color scheme, but if I like were to paint them and put glitter on them, it would definitely be more like Barbie mermaid. So I don't know, I'm thinking about doing that. Okay, 
day, about an hour later, here's where we're at with the skirt. We've got the little belt with seashells. I've added more layers to the fins at the bottom and then I bejeweled it. I'm liking how it's coming out. I just wish that this would poke out on the sides even more. The little thing I put underneath is helping to poke it out a little bit right here, but I want it to be like fully poking out like this. So I'm trying to think of what I could put to like make it stand out on the sides like this. I could put like some wire or something in it, but then I'm trying to think also what's gonna be like practical and comfortable and like actually hold up because she's gonna wanna wear this costume to school. So that'll be on Friday, the Friday before Halloween that they'll wear their costumes to school and then it won't be actual Halloween until Sunday. So it's like, I'm just worried if she wears this to school on Friday that it's gonna like get destroyed before she actually gets to wear it on Halloween. So the choices would be not to let her wear it to school, which is kind of lame, or I don't know. <laughs> okay, before I start working on the top for the costume, I'm gonna start on the headpiece. I had these two headbands, or Zaya had, or we had from like PR packages and stuff. These two headbands, which actually both would be really cute because the sparkly purple goes with the color scheme, but then of course the pearls go with the overall scheme. And so I was trying to decide like which headband to use as the base, but I think I could actually layer them together kind of like this and like glue them together so I can use both. And then from there, I want to do like starfish on top and seashells and more jewels and stuff like and create more of like a, like add some height to it. I haven't quite figured out how I'm going to make the starfish, like how I'm going to attach them and make sure that they stand up really well and make sure that it's sturdy. But I think the first step is just attaching these two headbands together. Did you see what I did with your costume so far while you were at school? Do you like it so far? You think I'm doing a good job? Okay, let's try on this top part so I can finish up. Okay, we're doing a little fitting. Not done with it yet, but I wanted to make sure of what it was looking like so far. <laughs> Look in the mirror, what do you think? I like it. So I think I'm gonna add like some straps and then maybe some little sleeves that have like little fins on them. Yeah, so far so good. I'm gonna make some other pieces to it and then we'll be done. So about three days and one huge mess later, I think I have finally completed the costume. Starting from the top, we have the crown. I made a little necklace with a seashell pendant on it. We have the top with the sleeves. We have the belt and then the skirt with the fins at the bottom. I might still add a couple more details to it and I am gonna do Zaya's hair in a cool way and do her makeup in a cool way to go with it to kind of really tie it all together and make her look like a real mermaid. Still not sure what I'm gonna do for wearing the costume to school because wearing all of this to school for a full school day, I don't think that that's gonna work. I don't think it's gonna be comfortable and I don't think the costume will survive. So we're gonna have to figure out something for that. But as for actual Halloween night for going trick or treating, I plan to go all out, do her hair, do her makeup, whole thing. And then I am going to be coordinating with her as a pirate. So I still have to get my pirate costume together, but that's not as much of a DIY. It's more of just like an outfit, like just wear real clothes. I'm not gonna sew it from scratch. The only DIY that I have to do is make like a little head scarf and a a little, like it's just a little accessory out of this fabric, but everything else is pretty much gonna be like store-bought and pretty simple, cause we ain't gonna go all out for the pirate, sorry. But I'm gonna pull something together for that. I pretty much have my BAPS costume mostly done except for the hair piece. The hair piece is the main thing that will take some time to build up that big thing. So I still have to do that 
And then those are pretty much all the costumes. And then I just have to make sure that I pull this party off because I have quite a few things that I'm trying to like DIY and set up for the party. But I'm gonna end this vlog here because I'm sure it has been long enough. Just the prep and planning process and just making Zaya's costume was a lot. As I just said, I still have a lot more to do. So stay tuned for my next vlog because I will continue vlogging the rest of everything. And you guys will get to see how everything turned out, how all the costumes turned out, how the party turned Turns out everything. Um, I'm gonna include that in my next vlog, so stay tuned.